The bugs are back. Tis the season to be on alert for the spotted lanternfly, an insect detrimental in more ways than one to Delmarva. It was first found in the area in 2018, and yes, it has since spread. Yeah, it's present isn't good news for the agriculture and trade industries and it's a nuisance to homeowners. Delmarva Life's Katie Cirilli caught up with the Delaware Department of Agriculture to bring us the inside info on the insect. Tiny but toxic. This pesky piece of work is known as the spotted lantern fly and the species is sticking around for another season. It originated in China and then through the trade, uh, some of them got transported to the United States. We first found them in Pennsylvania in 2014. It was first found in Newcastle County in 2018. Now it's in Kent County and parts of Sussex too. They are voracious feeders of grapevines. They also feed on some fruit trees like peaches and apples. Mm -hmm. Uh, they feed on some plants that people might have in their yards, like rose bushes, uh, some vegetable plants like, you know, cucumbers, things like that. And because they're such an ag pest, they also affect other industries as well. Namely, trade. Uh, we call them a hitchhiker bug, so that means that they'll uh, cling on to, uh, like, modes of transportation. Uh, they might lay eggs on items that are transported from one place to another. Uh, and because of that, it's really important for businesses to be aware of the spotted lanternfly, uh, that they're checking their freight and their vehicles. So we're tasked with keeping our eyes peeled. But what exactly are we looking for? Right now, they're small. Uh, they're small, they're black with white spots. They don't have wings, so we get a lot of reports of people uh, thinking that they found a spotted lanternfly this time of year. but. If they have wings, it's probably not a spotted lanternfly. Um, as adults, they kind of look like a moth, even though they're not a moth. If they see a spotted lanternfly, uh, the best thing that they can do is try to kill it. These little buggers are choosy about where they hang out. So this time of year, you might find them on the tree of heaven, but you might also find them on little plants that are surrounding the tree of heaven. Um, if there are any kind of vines growing around the tree of heaven, they really like to feed on that. Uh, soft green tissue. They'll lay eggs in September and October, and any one mass can hold between 30 and 50 eggs. So it's important to be on the lookout for those as well. If you see anything that looks like a smear of mud that isn't where it should be, uh, they're very easy to scrape off with some sort of flat object. Whether it's the insect itself or an egg mass, one place you definitely don't want them is on your vehicle. That'll mean you're transporting them from one place to another. This time of year, you know, people are traveling to the beach. Yeah. So if you're traveling from Newcastle County or Kent County and you're going to the beach, it's really important that you check your vehicle. And if we've learned anything since March of 2020, it's that doing our part to halt progress matters. The spot of lanternfly, it's not anywhere close to being the same significance as like the coronavirus pandemic but again like you we saw with the with the disease mm -hmm. um, you know if everyone works together you, you know you can definitely stop the spread so the fact that it's taken you know three years for them to go into all of these new areas that means that we feel like there was there was something being done right and so we ought to continue to do our part in order to create a positive future for Delaware that's possibly pest free